Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, I, we just created this my order part of online shopping project. If you are not seeing that video, just go to the description and check out the link. In this video, we are going for change detail part. In this change detail, we are going to change for the password. So let us start with that. Let me open the ID. Here we are. And uh, first, we have to move to the change detail header. So this is our header we are going to use for change details. After that we have a change details.jsp page. Just open this. And the first page we have change password. So we are also going to open this. So we already have this page change password.jsp page. Just open these three pages first. After that we have to move to the header first. So just move to the header here we are. And now. And uh, now we just need to display the uh, like a uh, email address first. So we are going to retrieve the email address from the session. So string email equals to session dot kit attribute. The second option after that uh, email email dot to string. Okay. After that, uh, okay, we are getting error. Okay. So we forget the brackets uh, and after that uh, uh, we have to write here just uh, need to write uh, we have to display the email address only okay so just uh, write in this way and out dot print ln and here we just need to write email okay and before going uh, here we also need to connect uh, this uh, change uh, change details uh, like so we for that we have to move to the header header we have a header yeah header dot gsp page in that we have to here you can see change details page so we have to write change this page we have to write change details details dot gsp page okay after that close this header dot gsp after that we have again here and in this change password, just write change password dot jsp page. Here you can see change password dot jsp page. We already have the, this page. After that, uh, like in the back button, we are sending back to uh, our home page. This so just write here uh, home dot jsp home dot jsp page. Okay. After that, we have to move to the change details.jsp page and, and we have to copy this four line from here. So just copy this four lines, paste it here. And here is this, uh, some diff uh, some changes we have to do like header. Header we are using here is uh, change details header. So change, change details header.jsp page. Now let's refresh this page. And let's click on change details. Now here you can see that page uh, header get changes. Here you can see the multiple options. Let's click on this. We, we, we are able to move to other page, but uh, we are not, not able to see the CSS, which we are, because we did not connected uh, with the header and all. And here we are, uh, we just need to display first email and all details. So let's uh, back here and let's move here. And here we just need to, okay. Over here we just need to display the details okay now now here we have to write uh, first we have to write try catch block okay so first we have to uh, write here connection connection con sorry con equals to connection provider okay the this one connection provider dot git con and after that we have to create the statement st equals to con dot uh, create statement okay after that uh, result set result set rs equals to st dot execute query and after that we have to write here select star from users where email is equals to single double okay and plus plus email here we just need to write email okay we don't need to uh, get an email from session because we already declared here 
okay header and we are also importing importing a header here that's why okay after that uh, here we just need to write while rs dot next so this will uh, only search only one record okay after that here we just need to display that so uh, here we have to write equals rs dot git string string and here we just need to write one okay and let's copy this part and let's paste it here and here we just need to write two after that the next is uh, for mobile number so here we are going to writing three and after that we have to write this display the security question so here we just need to write four let's save this you can see ever video is almost uh, removed after that we just need to close this okay and here we just need to close this uh, like first we close okay this should be deleted after that uh, we need one more okay after that we have to write catch let me move a little bit down here we just need to write exception exception e and here we just need to write system system out dot uh, print ln and here we just need to write e okay now let's refresh this page and let's see the records here you can see god of kumar god of at the rate gmail.com here you can see the mobile number and here you can see the security question as per old now we have to write the code in the change password so let us start with that now let's move to the change password here and here first we need to copy the exact four line from the previous so just move here and again just copy this four lines and paste it in this here and let's refresh this page and let's move to the change password okay now here you can see there's a we are able to see the messages which we have and here you can see there's a in in the old password but we are not able to see the um, input box and here you can see there's a button icon so we will write the code for all okay let's move it again here and now first thing is we are going to write the code for uh, this okay and here we have to write a string msg equals to request dot get parameter and equals to msg msg and if not match so it means that the password does not match in that case we just need to display that new password and confirm password does not match okay here we just need to write new match match okay dot equals equals and here we just need to write msg and after that we have to start the bracket and after that we also need to close this so here we just need to display the question okay close the bracket okay after that we have to just copy this and uh, paste it here and just delete this line of the code after that we just need to copy this and paste it here and in if condition we just need to write here uh, wrong okay okay after that uh, we just need to copy this line of the code here and paste it here and in this uh, we just need to write done password change successfully it means that done okay done after that we have to copy this line here and paste it here okay you can see the error get removed after again we have to copy this code and paste it here like something went wrong in that case so invalid valid and we also need to close this so just paste it here okay now after this we just need to create a form so just uh, write here form and uh, action action is equals to doubles and the method third is equals to post okay and uh, here we just need to create a page for that so just right click on this and going uh, just jsp and here we just need to write change password action finish okay page has been created just read this and again move to the change here and now now here we just need to write the name so change password action for gsp page okay 
after that we have to just uh, delete this and at the end of this body uh, before body we just need to close this okay you can see here after that uh, we have to create the input field so just to start with that here input okay and the type is equals to uh, uh, text okay and text and uh, after that we have to write the name for name equals to we are renaming it as old password password and after that uh, we have to also add place holder is equals to and in doubles enter old password okay after that this should be required and one more thing we have to add the class so class is equals to input style okay and we are going to copy this line of the code to these two places just paste it here and paste it here okay and after that uh, we have to just change the name and placeholder one by one so this should be new password okay new password after that we have a uh, confirm firm password okay here we just need to change to new password and here we just need to write confirm password okay after this we just need to here, here is button to submit this form so button this one and here we just need to delete this and paste it here and after that uh, we have to write uh, class is equals to button okay and here we just need to write save okay and uh, after that uh, here we just also need to write type equals to submit okay now form is ready let's refresh this page okay refresh this page you can see get changes and message also get removed and here we are able to see all this okay now let's minimize this again and here we have to write the codes in change password action dot jsp page now the first two line we are going to copy it from a uh, change password page okay after that we have to start again okay and here we have to take uh, variables string email equals to session uh, dot kit attribute first we are taking it up from uh, session okay email address to string okay after that the next is a uh, string old password part password equals to request dot uh, get uh, parameter and in this we just need to write old password okay and let's copy this two times okay and uh, paste it here one two and here we just need to change to new and here we just need to change to confirm okay after that here we just need to change new and here we just need to change to confirm okay after that uh, we have to first check that uh, the confirm password and new password is same or not so let's uh, write here confirm not equals to confirm uh, confirm password dot equals and here we just need to write new password okay after that response dot send redirect and uh, here we just need to write uh, and change password so let's check out uh, okay we have to write uh, change password dot jsp page question mark msg equals to not matched match okay after that uh, if this condition is satisfied then it will send response to this page and this will not work after that uh, there should be else condition we are writing and uh, after that we are declaring the variables check is equals to zero and after that here we are just writing try catch block okay and in try catch block we are going to create the connection connection 
con equals to connection provider class this one dot uh, get con after that use result set okay before that we have to create the statement statement okay st equals to con dot uh, create statement okay okay uh, we have to write the catch block first uh, to remove this errors and here we just need to write exception e okay after that uh, we just need to write result set result set rs equals to st dot execute query okay in this you just need to write select star from users where email is equals to single double okay double plus plus email okay and and uh, password is equals to and here we just need to pass the old password okay old password after that we have to close this by with semicolon and after that we have to write while rs dot next and in between this we have to write the code to set the value like this satisfied means that the uh, old password is correct so in that case we just need to execute the update we have to set the old uh, new password as a new password okay uh, this password should be set update in our database so let's write here st dot execute execute update this one and here we just need to write update users set password is equals to single okay double plus plus and uh, here we just need to write new password okay where email is equals to single double okay double plus email okay and after that uh, we just need to put semicolon and move to the next line response dot send redirect okay this should be uh, redirect after that uh, here we just need to write uh, okay just copy this line and just paste it here and paste uh, semicolon at the end and here we just need to change the message and the message is done okay and after this we are also need to check check is equals equals to zero it means that uh, the old password is not correct so in that case we also need to send the message uh, with wrong okay wrong okay after that uh, like uh, if any error occur in that case we also need to uh, send that or uh, just leave it for now system dot out dot print print ln and we just need to display in the console okay so let's check it out it's working fine on or not let's refresh this page and our old password let's check out our old password select a star from users okay and here we are we are our password is one two three four let's go for it one two three okay uh one more mistake we did here that it should be in the type should be the password so just move to the change password and here we just retain that uh, type uh, is text so just write here password okay and let's copy this and uh, paste it here and paste it here okay and let's save this and let's refresh this again and here now one two three four and i'm able to see you because i am this browser default browser after that uh, we uh, we have old password is this so just check out for this i'm just writing five and here i'm just writing one two three and one two three these two are correct but uh, our old password is wrong so it means that your old password is wrong we are getting the message now let's go for one two three four and uh, the password is correct now here we are going to write one two three and here i'm just writing one two just one two okay after that let's try to save this new password and confirm password does not match okay that's correct now let's go for one two three four 
our correct uh, correct old password now here i'm just writing one two three let me show you and here i'm just writing one two three now everything is correct when we click on save it means that we uh, get the message password changed successfully it's working fine so this is all about uh, change password part of my online shopping project i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you